Howdy folks, Bodie 52 hope you are well. I don't know about you guys, but I have been binge watching Sturgis videos like for two weeks now. You know, the couple weeks before uh, Sturgis 23, I was uh, starting to hear friends and other folks starting doing videos on Sturgis. And I'm just like, all right, Sturgis is kind of cool. Here we go again, though. Tons and tons of videos, right? Uh, but I can't stop watching them. And the ones I have watched over the last week or two, it's been everybody having a lot of fun. But I guess it rained like, I don't know, four or five days straight and then a, a halfway decent day. That seems crazy to me. So would you go on a vacation where you knew it was going to rain 80% of the time you were there. So I will admit that Sturgis is a bucket list ride for me. I really want to get out there, maybe for a different reason than many other people. I just want to ride the roads. I want to spend a week out there riding the roads without all the craziness, without all the people out there. And then I want, I don't know, a day or two maybe, for the event itself because you got to live that I mean come on you got to at least experience some of that so that you can say that you have done it but I've been watching these videos of people who are just like it rained again today it's raining again a lot today it sucks but we're making the best of it and there were two things that kind of stuck out to me it's like one leave it up to us bikers it can be crappy out but we're gonna find a way to have a good time there's just no doubt about it but yeah, we call it like it is. So if you were gonna, and, and, I, and I guess when you go to Sturgis, if you wanna have a good place to stay, you almost have to start from what I understand, making arrangements now. You gotta set up where you're gonna stay, you gotta start planning, all of that stuff, almost a year of it in advance. Um, so there's a lot of pre-work, probably a lot of money, only to get close to the event and it's almost a rain out. Now, I wasn't there, so I don't know that it was a rain out. I guess a couple days it was tough. A lot of people riding. I even heard one video say that it was so muddy people couldn't get their bikes out of the chip. Now, if you were out there and you were at the chip, is that true? Was it that muddy that you could not get your uh, motorcycle out? Uh, because boy, that would have been crazy. But I was thinking, if I had a trip like this planned, regardless if you flew out there and rented a bike, you rode out there, or you took it in a, in a trailer, I don't really give a crap. Um, but if you had that all set up, spent that money to set it up, and let's say you could get a refund, and you found out it was gonna rain that much, would you go? Especially if it was a bucket trip. Would you go and spend that time in something that's somewhat miserable. Now, I think if you're going down there with a bunch of friends and stuff, hey, that's that's kind of maybe a, maybe that's a different story, right? But we just were in a trip in Ohio, and I will tell you that it, it didn't rain a lot. It rained some, but we were with a lot of friends, so we really didn't care. We rode in the rain, but we also hung out, so it was cool. But going all the way to Sturgis from, say, Michigan, so if I rode out there, I don't know, it's what, three or four days? spend a week and three or four days back, would it be worth it for four or five days of rain? I don't know. There is part of me that says, hell yeah, it'd be worth it. I'm absolutely going to go. Then there's part of me going, that's ridiculous, dude. If you could get your money back, reschedule for another year or go somewhere else because that doesn't seem right. I don't know. And maybe this is a better question for those of you that have rode Sturgis so you can tell us what you would do. Um, and I definitely want to get out there. So if you live in Michigan and or you're a, a riding buddy or a friend of mine and you want to go out there, let's talk about it. We need to get it on the darn schedule so uh, we don't come up with any excuses not to go because it's one of those bucket list items. We're all not getting any younger. And uh, will you give me a hard time if I pass both this car and the trailer at the same time? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do it. Let me know, folks. Hope you are well. Be safe out there. 
Hey, check in a friend. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.